coronavirus COVID-19 still out there and about almost we are almost at 2 million people in Southern California it's devastating you know I got I got a bit of bad news from my dad today my dad has an aunt who lives in New York so that's my dad's sister and she's in a nursing home she recovered she recovered from COVID-19 and she needs help so my dad is going to go out to New York he's gonna fly out of LAX out to New York pick her up and try to bring back his aunt here that is a risky risky mission <laughs> For my dad, I'm worried about him. He's gonna be going out to New York. It's real. A hundred thousand people have almost died from COVID-19 coronavirus in the United States. And my dad is in a tough demographic because he's already 70. So it's not like he's a spring chicken, but It's a little sad that he's gonna go out there and risk, somewhat risk his life to help out his aunt, but that's his family, I understand it. I salute him for it, that's his family. He's gotta do what he feels that he needs to do. Oh man, but I, I'm worried about him. But I talked to a flight attendant and the flight attendant said, masks are required on airplanes now so that's good oh man the COVID-19 is just dominating the news because it's so it is so present it's everywhere everyone in the world is affected by it you are not alone everyone is being affected by it the best piece of advice I can give you is just protect yourself right everyone on airplanes everyone is required to wear masks okay on the airplanes everyone's required to wear a mask so protect yourself i mean people are surviving this yes but you don't want to be one of the people who just didn't care about it and then you contracted it when you, it could have been prevented by taking the proper precautions right like wear a mask wear gloves ah uh, Anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing. What else do I want to talk about? Um, I want to talk to you guys about health. Health is everything, and this is part of it. I saw this awesome documentary, um, What the Health. I think that's the title of it. And it, it was a great documentary because it showed that... The very companies like the um, American Heart Association or the, the Diabetes Association, they're being lobbied and they're being funded by foods that can cause the very diseases that they're trying to ward off or trying to fight. For example, the Corman B Foundation, you fight cancer, that's a great foundation to donate to. But it was kind of odd that they partnered with Yoplait when the data shows that there's certain chemicals in Yoplait, the, the yogurt, that can cause cancer. So the, do, the documentary, What the Health, um, goes into depth about how diet can cause and prevent um, certain ailments, certain diseases. And it was real eye-opening to me when it showed how certain food companies are donating to the very associations that are trying to fight off these certain diseases. It was a good documentary to check out, but it, it didn't really show the data to me that being vegan is the best possible diet out there because look man I think vegetables are great absolutely okay vegetables fruits are great 
but you can't tell me that salmon raised in fresh water with absolutely no chemicals is going to be bad for you. The people in Japan have been eating fish their entire life, generations upon generations, and they have one of the longest longevities of a lifespan in the world. Okay, so meat inherently, inherently is it bad? Or is it the processing that makes the meat bad? That's what we have to ask ourselves as a society. Is it what is done to the meat that is bad? Or is it just meat in general? That is the real question. If I go out and I shoot a pig, a wild pig, and I eat that pig, is that bad for my health? Or is it because when we process the, the pig, then it becomes bad for your health? That's, that's what I'm really wondering about. Same with Super Size Me. If you ever saw the movie Super, Super Size Me, okay, yeah, um, Morgan Spurlock, his health did deteriorate, but he was drinking an obscene amount of soda. An obscene amount of soda. Oh, man. Health is your wealth. You got to protect it. You got to constantly read up on it and remind yourself what is healthy. But I'm going to tell you something. If there's one person to look to when it comes to health, that motherfucking person is Jack LaLanne. You should follow, study, learn everything you can about Jack LaLanne. The Jumping Jack was named after Jack LaLanne. Remember that. The Jumping Jack was named after Jack LaLanne. All right, so today I'm going to go visit my dad. My dad is leaving on Monday to go to New York. To, to help out his aunt. Today is Friday. It's a great day. Memorial Day weekend is coming up. 2020. We are in the year 2020. Stay motivated. Stay dedicated to whatever goal you are chasing. You know, you know one thing that gets me mad about society is a lot of people sometimes they don't run the race that they want to run. They run the race that everyone is trying to run. And then they're not happy, right? You gotta do what makes you happy. And let me give you an example. When I was a teenager, I used to love running in the morning. I used to love it. This was before, I can't believe it, but this was before exercising was very mainstream and popular. Right? I used to be, ashamed to run in the morning if, if any of my classmates would see me do you know how stupid that is dude that was uh almost almost 25 years ago so 25 years ago that puts me at what well, hold on hold on 25 years ago help me do help me do the damn math okay that puts me at 16. I was uh, 16. God dang. I was 16. And I remember running and just not wanting my classmates to see me in the morning run before school. See, that's stupid. Same thing with um, dating girls. A lot of times when uh, a guy or a girl likes another person, if their group of friends don't approve, they end up not liking the person. And that's stupid. That that. It's stupid. You gotta run your race. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. Because you only have this one life to live. You gotta remember that. This is the only life you have to live. It is not gonna pass again. No one, okay, there are some people who can remember a past life, okay? But it's not hard and concrete. Some people, okay, past life, yeah, okay, I could buy that argument. There might be a past life. You might be reincarnated. But for now, the life that you have, the body that you have, this is the one time it's going to pass. You don't want to fuck it up. Do what makes you happy. That's an important lesson, man. Do what makes you happy. But on top of that, remember, if it ain't healthy, you shouldn't do it, man, because you can't be happy unhealthy. You can try, but it's a lot easier to be happy healthy. Remember that. All right. It's a lot easier to be happy, healthy. Eat healthy, be healthy, sleep well, live well, because what you eat is how you fuel your body, and how you sleep is how you recharge your battery. If you 
you made it this far into the video, you gotta subscribe. I love you guys.